Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm D. And I'm Six. And we're here, and we're to, give here you to give you guys your video, video reaction. reaction fix. How you doing, sis? Hey, sis. What you How got? We like? like plan out this yellow, like Waffle House yellow. Like it's giving Waffle House. Here. It's giving very mm -hmm. much Oshun, you know. It is giving Oshun. Very it's much so sunrise, you know. It's giving all the things. It's giving all the things. And I'm going to tell you, sis, what's not giving. What's that? What's not giving is, so I got sent this poem by one of my Patreonas. And she was like, sis, I want to hear your thoughts on it. And as soon as I listened to it, I said, oh, Lord, I need backup for this one. I need the good sis as well. Okay. So I'm about to play. I'm just going to play the audio because something is wrong with my screen share on Instagram. And it is not coming up. So I am going to play the audio, but I want you all to listen to the poem. Now, women like this and rhetoric like this is very problematic. And I'll share my opinion on specifically why. But I'm letting y'all know now. This is not, this is, it's kind of, it's a lot. Take the kids out the room. I'm going to go ahead and play the video, play the audio. You got me scared, sis, because I ain't heard this. You should be, because this is where we are in a society now, okay? This is where we are. I'm going to play the audio for you guys. Uh-oh, hold on. I like to let the sex come first. Before we think of things to say, before we dive into our most inner thoughts, let's get the fucking out the way. See, for me, bad dick is a deal breaker. No matter if you're smart or you're fine. So before I invest my energy into you, I need to know if it's worth my time. So we might fuck soon as we meet. Once, twice, maybe three in a row. And if that chemistry is there, we can begin to get to know. Because the pressure of leading up to the physical is something that I can't take. In the past, I done made the mistake of investing in men that can't make me shake. So I need to know if my body could fuck with you. Before you're introduced to my spirit. Because if you want to talk after you fail to make me come, I ain't even trying to hear it. See, with most women, their pussy is their only possession. They make men work before they lay, be selective with who they let touch their bodies and then give their hearts away. My prize possession is my energy, too. This vibe is rated fine, so you can penetrate this body before you get into my mind. The best things about me have nothing to do with the things that I can do in the bed. I'll let you get into these drawers, but never get into this head. Plus, I've seen it too many times. These women that want to make men wait, thinking that playing the good girl role will somehow guarantee their fate. But as soon as he get what he wants, he's going like a thief in the night. And I asked me sitting there crying and talking about, but I did everything right. As women, we make sex this huge ordeal when that's not always the case. Because sometimes it is about starting the future, but sometimes it's about riding the face. Plus, okay, I think it just cut off there, but I honestly think that's cool because I think we get the point. Yes, and that sounds that that person sounds very familiar. So, but I'm not even going to say her name because that's one of my you know old poetic justice sisters. Okay, um, but the, that voice she has a very distinctive voice, so I think I know who that is. But that's see, besides the fact. I feel like. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Damn six, you want to put me in a awkward situation, but it's 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 good to touch base on. Um, this need to be talked about. It does, it does, and I'm gonna go ahead and say that I wholeheartedly <clears throat> disagree with you know the stance that is being taken in that their poem. Um, I feel like our bodies are very sacred and our bodies are our temples. And as women, we need to be very cautious and highly selective with who we invite into our wounds because it could be um, very risky. Like that's very risky business. We can end up being pregnant, uh, catching certain, you know, STDs, even soul ties. And I feel like a lot of us don't even understand that when it comes to having people enter into our bodies, like the energy that is being exchanged. And you don't want to just have all of these different men pumping all of this different energy, chaotic energy into you before you even have a chance to know them. So me personally, I feel like that is problematic. Um, but I'm very interested to hear what you have to say and from the face and your 
disposition already know you're gonna pop off. Um, what you what's your take, sis? Well, my take is this is problematic, and I look at women like this as the op of black women. These are women who, in my opinion, are you know demon filled and misery loves company, and these are the women that try to drag as many women down with them. Um, I she said something that I that really made my spidey senses tingle, which is where she said, you know, women think that by being a good girl and making him wait will, you know, make the situation better. And how she was like, you know, he going to leave anyway, is what she was saying in the poem. So what I think is, I think this is a lack mindset. Mm. Um, I think it's a total opposite. I think that because she's sleeping with these men, as soon as she meets them, this is why she's sleeping with them as soon as she meets them. When a man, when you give your body to a man, that doesn't respect you, two things happen. Number one, your business going to be in the streets because he's going to make sure he run his mouth to everyone because he does not have that respect level with you. And number two, the woman, a woman cannot handle mentally being pumped and dumped that many times. I think that once a woman is pumped and dumped over and over the way she clearly was as a defense mechanism, they begin to feel like, well, I will pump and dump him first. And in her mind, that's a protection to herself. And this is a woman with father issues, abandonment issues. And in her mind, every man is going to leave her. So she might as well go ahead and give them what they want up front and disguise it as this empowerment move of, oh, I ain't going to be with you if you got bad D. The problem is this. As long as a man has a functioning member down there, the intercourse should and can be good, okay? <laughs> a lot of women do not know their own bodies and they think that if they just switch the man that the sessions will be better. And what she failed to realize is it is your orgasm and your satisfaction is your job as a woman. To be honest, the man's only job is to have his member standing tall. Once he get that thing standing up, honestly, the rest of it is on you. Every woman should know her body as to what she needed to move and groove to be satisfied. And number two, it's weird as a woman to be able to be sexually free enough to climax with a man that you just met that day. Your body shouldn't work that way. 70% no. of a woman's climax is mental and you will have a much better experience and climax when it's with a man, you know, and trust. So yeah. whenever a woman is able to meet a man and be talking about riding faces and sucking peen off rip, that's a woman that is extremely disconnected in her womanhood and femininity. And I actually think sisters like that are very broken. And I think that the total opposite needs to happen, which is a reset, which is where she needs to go through a period of celibacy and close them legs and start finding other what that's weird. You know, a woman does not have value in herself where she says, I'll give you my body, but not my mind. She mm -hmm. said, I, you know, I'll give you this cooch, but you're not getting in my brain. That's problematic. If it's a man how you're, you're kind of self-sabotaging because how are you ever supposed to grow a healthy relationship when you have a wall up saying that you won't let no man into your mind? So basically you are forcing yourself to be nothing more than a late night creep. You got to let the man into your mind to build a relationship. And we were talking about that earlier where women are so broken at this point in time where they'd rather give their body and suck peen as opposed to having a conversation and cooking. And that's what that's giving me. You'll open your legs, but not your cabinets. You'll open your legs, open your mouth. You'll open your mouth for a peen, but you won't open your mouth to express yourself and be vulnerable with a man. Like we're in a bad position. You know, and, and I agree with what you said. I, I absolutely agree. 
Um, but what do you say to the people who would say, well, men do this all the time. All we're doing is, you know, taking back, you know, our power and, and flipping the script on the men. Because a lot of these things are stemming from what men have inflicted upon, you know, the, the women. Or I should say males, because men don't do this and women don't do this either. So yeah. what we're dealing with is a lot of, like you said, broken females that deal with males and, you know, in, in, instead of them having the males come through and disrespect them and neglect them and abandon them or whatever the case is, they would rather, like you said, do it first. So what do you say to the women that's just like, you know what? No, I don't agree that that makes her broken. I feel like we're just doing what these men been doing. You know, we're taking our power back. You know, do you feel like those women with that sentiment are justified in saying that? Yeah, and I don't even understand that point because what they fail to realize is that the males doing that, they messed up too. You know, yes. the males doing that, they also are, they have the inability to trust, the inability to be vulnerable, the inability to be faithful, the inability to commit. In their mind, they've been so promiscuous. They don't beat down so many other men's wives, girlfriends that they're not even able to have a real relationship because in their mind, it never belongs to them. It's just their turn. So I don't know why women say, well, the men do it. Yeah. And they also messed up. The only yeah. difference is <laughs> that they're just as messed up mentally as you. Okay. The difference is that there is a double standard there where he won't have the title of being a whore the way you will. Cause women like that is also a form of self-sabotage to where they don't slept with so many men and poured themselves out so far that now nobody going to wife them. Ooh. So my thing is men don't experience that same thing. A man can run through a hundred women and then decide he want to settle down and still be looked at as valuable and a prize. It doesn't work like that as a woman. Number two, the man's organs are in external. You see right. what I'm saying? He's not letting someone inside his body. I say all the time, these men be out here busting down these chicks and then they go wash they peen in the sink with Irish spring and go on about their business. You cannot just put your cooch in a sink and wash it with Irish spring and tap water and think you good. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you hear a man talk about how a woman have an odor down there, what he's smelling is other men. That's what we understand. Rarely, if you are being intimate with one man and he is being unprotected intimate with only you, you're not going to develop an odor. Okay. So women like this will tell other women to go do this and that. But you ain't got no answers for these females on what they're going to do when they coochie smell like Brad and Tyler. Lord have mercy. What you going to do when she get pregnant and she got to do like all these other chicks do and go get an abortion because she don't slept with three or four different men this month and she can't be sure who the father is. What's the advice then? Like, speak up. Shawty, like, don't don't be so loud telling these women to sleep with men the first day. What you going to do about their pH balance? What you going to do about their reputation? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Any woman that think that she can sleep with a man and have the attitude like, I, I pumped and dumped him. I got him and don't want to talk to him. Any woman that think that's a thing is delusional. It's not a thing. You always going to be looked at as a hoe and bring your value down every single time. And even the men are... You're never, there is no, oh, I'll give you some first and figure out if it's good. Then I'll let you into my mind. Once you sleep with that man in the beginning and he see this how you get down, to be honest, he don't care about what's in your mind. Oh, he could that's care the catch less. to it all. That's the catch to it all. So you self-sabotaged. It yeah. was a self-fulfilling a, a, a self prophecy because you already had it in your mind. He wasn't going to stick around anyway. And so you work backwards doing that. And I can agree with that. And I feel like it's important to also hit on the fact that, and I, you kind of alluded to this uh, earlier, but, you know, once you do develop that mental connection with a man, it could even make the sex better. You know, like oh. even even if it's not even the, the, the best pain, 
just because we have this this deep connection and emotional connection and we're able to stimulate each other mentally and emotionally it can make the most basic session spectacular, spectacular. So, yeah that's that's also very important and i i kind of disagree matter of fact i do disagree with um you saying the odors are just from like sleeping around with different men no the thing is due to our mentalities a lot of the times you know when we're possessing certain thinking patterns and stuff like that we indulge in things that are unhealthy as well so even if you're not just hopping around from this peeing to the next if you're eating trash if you're drinking a bunch of trash if you're not taking care of yourself like that can have an effect on your ph balance as well in different odors and then in addition to having all different kinds of men running up in and out of you so yeah. it's a holistic thing like that's why it's so important to ultimately take care of your mental because everything is mental everything stems from how you're thinking you know because when you think this way you're going to feel this way and you feel this way you're going to do these things so it's important for us as women especially to make sure that we're taking care of our mental uh health because you know if we don't we ended up we end up indulging and engaging in things that are are very counterproductive and destructive to ourselves and everybody else around us mm -hmm. yeah stop stop letting them demons bring you down with them you know what i'm saying yeah. th th this is the concept of the sisterhood that get real dangerous mm -hmm. you know you sit and listen to women speaking like that and that get into your psyche and this is how they bring you down to their level women got to learn how to be able to hear somebody talk like that and got to know how to be able like oh no mm -mm. i'm gonna go ahead and leave that there but the sad part is It'll be women that hear that and it will encourage them. And that makes me sad. So Yeah. And but. you know what else? I, I want to hit on this too before we wrap this up. It's very unfortunate and a little crazy to me that when women talk like this, as far as let me see what that D is like, you know, before I even get in, invested and involved in you, I find it very strange that we will possess that mentality when it comes to the no good males but when it comes to like the real good men out there it's like no you got to work for it and mm -hmm. I, I need to develop this connection with you first like why is it that we make the the quality men work harder than we would do the average joe that doesn't give a damn about us i feel like that's mm -hmm. also very problematic like yeah make sure that universally you're following a, a certain code of conduct don't just be like okay well you know since you're this type of guy you have to work harder for it because i'm holding you to a higher standard no hold everybody including yourself to a standard that way you don't again have all of this emotional baggage and mental baggage and just overall unhealthy lifestyle so yeah. i thought that was important to also acknowledge but yeah you got anything else on this sis no that's it for me y'all what y'all think in the comments what y'all think I'm, I'm really anxious to hear from y'all you know how would y'all feel you meet a woman you like her and she like she's like run the d nigga tonight <laughs> well what would you feel you know would you do it would you take a serious after that ladies right. let us know yeah. what you think is that how you get down subscribe yeah. to the channel y'all like the video we out we out peace